Hey, it's Fearlink here, and today I'm going to ask the question, is virtual desktop worth it for Mac? In this video, I'm going to show you what virtual desktop has to offer when working on a Mac using the Quest 2. When connecting virtual desktop to a Mac, it's basically the same way you're going to connect it as if you were using a PC. You just download virtual desktop on your computer, and then you also download it on your Quest. One thing I do like in virtual desktop is the amount of environments that they offer. Uh, what I don't like is that I don't believe there is a way to connect other people to enjoy some of these environments with you. So let's say if you're in a movie environment and you're watching a movie and you don't want to do it alone, I haven't really figured out a way to bring other people in that environment with you as well. And if you wanted to do that, they would also have to purchase virtual desktop and that is a shame because these environments are amazing. The lighting is beautiful, especially when you're watching movies. The lighting literally bounces off the walls inside these environments. So I really wish that was able to happen, that you could just share these environments with uh, other people. So I'm going to skip games and then come back to that category uh, at the end of this video because that is the biggest thing that I do want to talk about when it comes to virtual desktop on a Mac. So now talking about the inputs on virtual desktop when it comes to using it on a Mac, it's basically the same as if you were going to use it on a PC. But the biggest thing that I do like is that you can actually control your computer uh, with the controllers. So I've used other things like Immerse before, and you can't really actually control the computer. You can just move around screens and other things like that, but you still need to use your actual computer to control your screen. But with this, you can use the controllers to actually move things around, go into different uh, applications. And I really like that because not all of the time you want to have to take off your computer, go to your actual keyboard and your trackpad and then use that when you can just use it uh, with the Quest controllers. Now, when it comes to the settings on virtual desktop, um, you have the same as if you were using a regular PC. So you have your computer settings, uh, environmental quality settings, frame rate, uh, desktop bit rate. You have so many different settings, dynamic lighting settings. So all these settings are amazing. I do love that virtual desktop gives you options to all these different things based on what your computer can handle. So it is the same as if you're using PC. Uh, and the settings are just great. So I have nothing I had to say about that uh, whatsoever. Now, when it comes to the streaming settings, I do believe this is basically the same or should be the same on PC as well. I don't know what would need to change when it comes to the streaming settings. Um, I do like that it does have application space warp on there. So that's really cool because that's something that's newly uh, been implemented uh, when it comes to the quest. So that is great as well. Other than that, I don't know. I don't really know what else uh, would be different on PC. I'm not even sure if that would be different. Now, when it comes to the videos tab, there's not really much to say. It's just a tab that shows videos and you can access the vid videos a lot more easier, I would say. Um, and you can play videos from that tab as well. But now, last but not least, I'm going to cover uh, the game settings in virtual desktop. Now, I don't know if you all know this, but the game settings in virtual desktop is completely non-existent because uh, the Quest does not allow you to connect it to a uh, Mac for gaming. You can connect it a different way, but it, you can't really do anything for gaming. Even though Steam VR does allow uh, VR gaming on Steam. So Mac cannot do anything gaming wise for the Quest 2 because it's not allowed. I do think the Quest 2 should come over this because there are a lot of people who have Macs and it's not like you can't game on them. A lot of people are saying you can't, but with the new M1 chip and the new M2 chip, you can definitely game on Mac. I do think the main reason is uh, because Macs use an integrated graphics card instead of using an uh, actual graphics card. So my, that might be the real reason that Macs don't really work well with the Oculus or maybe you j it's just not compatible yet. Maybe there's some way that we can make it compatible, but I would love to see that in the future. And then you could possibly be able to use 
virtual desktop to connect because right now the virtual desktop is just a place where you can play videos on your Mac and stream it to a virtual desktop on your Oculus. And I'm not saying it has to be like a super intensive like game to play under. I'm not necessarily saying it has to be really intensive. It could just be a regular VR game with minimal graphics that you can just run on a Mac because there's a lot of games on Steam that I want to try out that's not really graphics intensive, but just because I have a Mac, I can't do that. And it's because Meta refuses to integrate the Quest into the Mac's framework or software. Because at the end of the day, there are a lot of uh, VR gaming ready PCs that use integrated graphics and they work completely fine playing super high end VR games. So I do believe this could be a possibility. Max can definitely run uh, PC VR games. Uh, it's just a matter of Meta being willing to integrate them. So now back to the first question that I asked in the beginning of the video. Is virtual desktop worth it for Mac? And I think it is definitely not worth it because you can do the same things on free uh, programs and apps. Uh, so yeah, that's just my opinion. It is a really good app for PC for right now, but other than that, when it comes to Mac, it's not really as useful as it should be. But that is my take on virtual desktop. Uh, so let me know your take or opinion in the comment section below. Uh, thanks for watching this video. It really helps the channel out and like and subscribe if you already haven't. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Peace out.